Welcome back to CT Sports Now. I'm Mark Robbins, no fins, and Sean Patrick Pauley from Game Time Connecticut, New Haven Register, the uh, the Hearst Sports powerhouse that you guys have uh, have become. And anyway, we're glad you're here. I know your knuckles are still a little wide from having been been sitting yeah. in traffic on the Merritt Parkway forever. <laughs> and then he gets here and he's locked out of the building. Yeah. You said they were clamoring, right? Yeah, <laughs> clamoring for you. The hair yes. looks good. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get right to it, Sean. Um, uh, before we even get to the bottom five, the big uh, the big loss, I, I would say, is the Cheshire team losing to North Haven. I don't know if it's a big loss because North Haven's a really good team, but that's a team that um, gets bumped out of the top ten. Yeah, uh, I was shocked. I was. Shocked. I mean, I you know, listen. North Haven gave me a lot of static about saying it would be a stunner if they won that game but I, I was I thought that Cheshire was the best team in the SEC clearly and well I North Haven comes in there Mark Montano and and the guys showed me up so there you go I, I, I was for certain Cheshire was the best team in the league and it looks like they're not, and North Haven's right back in the thick of things. North Haven regularly plays Cheshire tough. I yeah. mean, that's yeah. just always Last a, always a good too. matchup. I know we had video of the game um, somewhere, but um, yeah. I, I was there early, and Cheshire seemed to be in somewhat command. They were up 14-7 when I left, but they were moving the ball well in the game. Uh, quarterback uh, Jack uh, Raba, or Raba becomes the school's all-time leading passer in yards with that touchdown pass right there. They had gotten themselves in trouble. They, they hurt themselves several times in this game with, with penalties and silly penalties at awkward times, but they still appeared to be in control when I left the game heading to my next game. Yeah, uh, well, you know, I was at North Haven today. I had to give them a little bit of a mea culpa, and I talked to the guys there. And they basically said this was a defensive game for them. Their defense was really strong. It was a yeah. real sore we, point. We saw the interception right there, yeah. Yeah, real sore point last year. They could not move the ball. They couldn't really close the game out late. But their defense really came to play. Um, and hats off them for, for tightening that up. Now they got to get that offense really, really in gear. Although in this game, they, they, they took advantage when they needed to. And then their kicking game is much better than it was. Um, with DiCarlo uh, nailing the field goal to, 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 to put them out in front for good and... So now it's kind of topsy-turvy in the SEC right now. You got West Haven, North Haven, Don't, Shelton. Wilbur Cross. Wilbur Cross. Oh, let's yeah. talk about the topsy-turvy top let's. ten. Well, let's, yeah, let's go to the bottom the, five yeah, there. The yeah. bottom five part of it. The, well, not bottom five, but the, the, the five. The, the ten, ten through six. nine, eight, seven, six. Yes. Greenwich, Greenwich with the game off, but Middletown continues to impress. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, they're rolling through the, their CCC schedule and not, haven't really had any speed bumps yet. Okay, now now at 6 and 8, you have been battling on Twitter <laughs> with folks. I mean, if you... If well, you listen. I mean, New Canaan has... They both have the same record, New Canaan St. Joe's. St. Joe's beat New Canaan. St. Joe's beat New Canaan. And... At St. New Canaan. At New Canaan. Yes. yes. Let's all remember. And they, get, they lose to Darien by 32 points. And they get knocked below New Canaan, which is killing it since. They, you know, they crushed Trumbull, and they, they beat Danbury. It was, that wasn't a huge bit, but I mean, they crushed Trumbull last week. Now they're firing on cylinders. you got to look at that St. Joe game and say, what do these guys got to do? I've got St. Joseph two. I didn't drop them at all. I, I have them two in my poll. Really? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Huh. I thought, I thought they, they beat New Canaan. They were our number one. I thought that New Canaan was, is going to be great, and they are. I think those three teams right there, like basically you could say one, two, three, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. I don't have New Canaan quite three, but uh, they're in my top five or six. Um, I, I can't put, I just can't put St. Joe. St. Joe just got beat by a much better team. Darien is just, it was just marveling at what the job Rob Trafone But and that, that game done. was closer than the, than the final score indicated because St. Joe's got to a point where they just had to keep throwing, which is what they here do. Here was the problem. They, they and had this, to keep throwing the ball, and Darien was able yeah, to. Yeah, well, here know. was the problem. St. Joseph, and I hope you guys are watching, they, and the coach even said it, they fell asleep. As soon as they got down, I think it was 21 to 12, or no, 10 at, at halftime, and it was almost like it was like 80 to 10. They kind of fell. I mean, I don't know if it was the heat, the weather. Uh, they just were not into that game. As soon as they got down, they were, eh, uh, we're out. Yeah, but it was also a case of, uh, you know, Darien just sending those that defensive line in with yeah. everything they had. Darien and, is and everything they, that they were last year, and maybe even more. They've they uh, rebuilt the defensive line. It looked just like the last year's team. They have the same names, but they're just different <laughs> kids. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. All, they always look the same, and coaches have said that for, for years. Let's look at some of those teams that maybe have a shot in, in you mm. know, five to, to one in, in, the, uh, in the poll, maybe have a shot at some point to, 
if they don't play him directly, do we have the poll? Do we have yeah, five no, through one, one through, through five? There so go. there you go. So wait, did Darian get every single first place? They vote? got every single so one. So they the, the one dude who kept voting Ansonia finally changed his mind. Huh? Finally really? flipped. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious about why he just. But flipped. I did Ansonia vote. Ansonia did nothing did, to lose the vote. No, no they, they didn't. But Darian's <laughs> impressive win over St. Joe's. It was at that point you say, how, how, you know, you got to give Darian that number one vote. But I did have Ansonia in my poll. I had Ansonia too. That's right. fair. You know, that's not a big Interesting deal. Interesting that, that, that you both have teams from Class S as ranked second in the state, the, the smallest class. St. Joseph It's not a Class S team. And Let's be right. honest. But here. I think Ansonia is the smallest team in the state. They are one of them. Yeah. And that is true. But, you know, everybody in the city plays football. <laughs> I mean, they grow up, okay. they have to. All right. Well, right. St. Joe is a top five team, in my opinion. You can quibble about whether you can put them to the yeah, top and, five team, unless they prove otherwise. Anyway, so uh, here's yeah. Ansonia right now, right? I mean, Ansonia against Oxford, which... Yeah. I mean, they're, look at them. They're big kids. Markel Dobbs is just... You can't bring well, him down. Yeah, where do you rank him with the Alex Smiths, uh, Dobbs' his brother? We've had uh, Arkel Newsom, obviously. Yeah. Where, where do you think he stacks up in the in the Ansonia greats? Well, he's up there. He's certainly up there. But his story is yet to be written, and then they have a long way to go. They need to win another title. They need to put another banner up, and that would be a great way to to, to kind of get the comparisons. I mean, you don't if you're going to be great at Ansonia, you got to win a, at least a couple titles, uh, like the other guys did. Oh. So, oh, okay. All right. I mean, it's just not right. one guy. You can't. You know. Well, Thomas got won a couple, right? Arkell didn't he win a couple? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Let's let's um, let's talk about some big games coming up this week. It's kind of a weird schedule. We yeah. have a lot of games being With played Yom on Kippur. Thursday. Well, Yom Kippur kind of changed the schedule a little bit. But talk about some of the the big matchups as you see it. Well, you know, one I want I'm really interested in seeing is the uh, Windsor versus E.O. Smith game. You'll we'll, be there, I think, Mark. Yeah, I up, will be up yeah. at Windsor. Yeah. And we're going to get a chance to see Rondell Bothroyd, uh, our all first team mm -hmm. all state as a junior. The guy's a defensive beast. defensive uh, lineman. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I haven't seen him yet. They keep sending me clips. He's going to Temple next year. Um, and I'm anxious to see how he does. And I remember last year, the reason why I had him on our uh, first team all state, I didn't see him, but R Windsor close coach Rob Fleeting swore by him. He said, we could not block this kid. Couldn't block him. Based on all the video, I didn't see him live, but based on all the yeah. video I saw last year, nobody could. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. So he was a beast. One team, one man does not make a team. Um, I'm interested to see what happened. Windsor won that game last year anyway, so this would be kind of interesting. E.O. Smith's 3-0. Yeah. And so are they. E.O. Smith's not a whiff in the polls. So, I mean, you know, they've had some close, they've had some close games now. They get to play the, the big boys, Windsor. E.O. Smith's best team in stores. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> not going there. So, so any, any, other, any other games? Uh... I mean, it's just been a weird schedule. I mean, what else we got out there? Uh, I can't even think of any off the top. It was like the first one I thought of. I know the SEC's kind of gone their crossover route. So we'll see Sheehan play Fairfield Prep. See how that well, goes. Okay. Should right. be interesting. All Sheehan right. And Lyman Hall. Well, we'll be looking for your yeah, coverage. Yeah.